Hey, Miguel Dorati and the Wage Rage is back. We are going to look at the UFC Wichita. That's the UFC on ESPN4's uh, offering tonight. Uh, the weigh-ins are in the books from yesterday. No real big factors or stories coming out of the weigh-ins. Actually, you know, it's the last time we got to see Dos Santos looks very serious. Lewis, very serious as well. Uh, they came face-to-face. -face. We're going to go through the odds as they are entering fight day. So, let you know, the fights are tonight. And uh, the odds have come back and forth here. The main card, uh, let's start from the top, heavyweights. Uh, Julio Dos Santos, minus 200. Derek Lewis, plus 170. That's what you're getting right now, the over under. Two and a half on the five-round fight with the over, minus 120, and the under, plus 100. Uh, you know, this one could be fast, too. Uh, you know, that under might be tasty at plus 100. It could, that could get worse. I don't know. Uh, Dos Santos, minus 200. I've seen him as wide as minus 225. Uh, Lewis came, came back a little bit right now at plus 170. Welterweight fights in the action, uh, uh, you know, in the co-feature spot. Curtis Melender, minus 115. Elysio Seleski, minus 105. This has been uh, pretty much the same. Melender favorite in some of the books. So the over-under there, it's a three-rounder, over-under two and a half, with the over minus 175 and the under plus 155. More welterweight action. Tim Means, minus 200, taking on Nico Price. Nico Price at plus 170. Over-under is one and a half with the over at minus 150 and the under at plus 130. This one, uh, I've also seen Means down, you know, at around uh, minus 180 and uh, as high up as plus 210. So right now, Means right in the middle. I don't know about this one. Price could be someone to watch. I think uh, my teammate Devin Miller actually picked Nico Price on this one. The bottom line is... You know, just the eye test, Nico Price looks a lot more physical than Tim Means right now, uh, you know, at the weigh-ins when they came together and stuff. So maybe something to look at there. And the last of the bouts we're going to go over here, Blago Ivanov and Ben Rothwell. This was down to a near pick and fight. Ivanov right now, minus 115. Rothwell at minus 105. Over-under is 2.5 with the over minus 115 and the under minus 105. Bottom line is, is you know, uh, they both look kind of the same, uh, you know, kind of unemotional at the weigh-ins and, uh, you know, with the fists up without, you know, a lot of tension or anything like that. Iganov, as a foreigner, you know, he kind of, uh, you know, isn't very communicative. Rathbow always been kind of weird, you know. Uh, you know, I say that in a good way, but kind of quiet and pensive. And uh, here he's back after a couple of years. Seems to be taking it all in. I think he understands ESPN's a big deal. And, uh, you know, and uh, we're talking about the SPM Plus app, obviously, where we're going to see this stuff. So, um, uh, you know, I think we get a very motivated Rothwell. I'm sure that he's trying to not show much at the weigh-ins and stuff. So we'll see how that goes. The bottom line is, is those are the odds on fight day for the UFC in Wichita. Take a look at your local books. I'm Miguel Arati for the Wage Rage Podcast.